Hello and welcome to your Saturn and Pluto retrograde tarot reading. This reading is for fire signs, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. I'm going to pull a couple cards individually for each of your sign, but I'm going to tie the whole reading together. So Saturn is the daddy of karma and our greatest teacher, and Pluto is the great transformer. So over the next six months, um, there's going to be a lot of changes going on in our lives, and just to depending on how open you are to different changes and energies that are trying to come into your life is how big or small the energies of Pluto and Saturn will be felt um, at a conscious level anyways because things are in motion and action regardless of what we think of them. Um, our consciousness is what allows us to really understand and see how all things connect. So I'm going to start off by pulling a couple of cards and um, Saturn is going retrograde April 30th. Pluto just went retrograde April 24th, and they are retrograde all the way through September, early October. So let's see. I'm going to start um, by pulling a card for each sign, and like I said, I'm going to tie it all together so you don't have to skip around. All right, so... Aries, we have positive outcome. Now, even though this is the strongest card for Aries, this energy is for Aries, Leo, and Sag. This just the strongest part of it goes to Aries. And Leo, we have quietly observe. And Sagittarius, we have a soul bond. Okay. So based on these cards it looks like Aries um, there's some positive karma return you know I'm not surprised to see that with Saturn and Pluto going retro but also a bit of transformation now this is strongest for Aries but this also includes Leo and Sagittarius there is um, some positive karma return now coming to Leo quietly observe we've got to pull back sit back and watch how things unfold um, going back to the consciousness where in one level of consciousness, you will see and perceive things one way, but in a different uh, level of consciousness, it's just like total clarity. So don't be quick to assume. Just kind of sit back and watch things unfold. And also with this card, Leo, I feel that some of you who have been the underdog, have had the um, underhand, just things not going out uh, your way, and maybe there's some not so nice people that are a part of that. You are going to see karma unfold in their life for their actions and the way that their actions and behaviors impact you as well as others. So some of you, this that's what that's about. You're going to just kind of sit back and watch that happen. Um, and though we wish no harm on anybody, right? Um, there's a lot of positive energy that comes through for you, Leo, uh, with whatever's happening to other people, like them getting served exactly what they gave and what they took is now being returned to you, okay? And now over here to Sagittarius, soul bond, very strong um, energy of relationships that are near and dear to your heart, your soulmate, your soul tribe, whether that's friends, family, co-workers, romance, you know, it's different for all of you, but there's a big focus on relationships for Sagittarius. And um, just because of the astrology, to me, this is, again, karma, things coming together, loose ends finally being taken care of. There's like no unfinished business. Nothing's undone. Relationships that need to heal and mend are going to heal and mend. Relationships that need to go their separate ways for now because we're going on different life journeys at this point, that's going to just happen. But it's all very positive for all of you, okay? So let's um, pull a card here to see exactly what Saturn's bringing and what Pluto's doing for all the fire signs out there. All right, so Saturn, extreme multitasking, and Pluto. Oh, look at Pluto. Seek facts. All right, so um, this right here, very strong Pluto for Leo, all right? Again, sit back, don't assume, 
just kind of watch and see how things unfold and your perception is definitely going to change and shift. Now, for all of you, there's a lot that's going to be going on for fire signs over these next six months. A lot of shifting and movement of energy but it's positive. Um, I really, the if fires uh, that are coming through in this, it's like you've been the underdog. Things just have not been going your way. And now, um, you know, you might just be at the point where you're like ready to throw in the towel, give up, just like screw this. I just don't care. I'm tired. And Spirit's like, no, no, no. Seek facts. And also with this, uh, facts are going to come out. Truths are going to come to light. But again, it's positive for fire signs, okay? And you guys are just going to kind of see people get theirs. And um, while they're getting theirs, you're getting yours. But it's positive, okay? So let's pull a couple of tarot dice to further clarify Saturn and Pluto. All right. So Saturn, we have the Hanged Man. That's that sh uh, shift in perception and consciousness that I've been uh, seeing through this whole reading. And now we have the Eight of Swords coming out over uh, Pluto. Seek facts. So listen, guys. Uh, hanged Man, Eight of Swords, that's big time restriction delays. Like I said, the underdog, things just not working out. Things just not going your way. Uh, it's like you can't win for trying. And... That's all changing now through this, you know, planetary shifting and movement and retrograde. The retrograde is the return of energy. And, you know, those of you who have felt as though you've really been going through some life lessons, spiritual lessons, trying to sort things out, you know, um, trying to see the bright side, trying to believe that everything happens for a reason, you know, because when you're in a really low place, it's things like that that get you through, you know, it's like everybody has what they say to themselves to keep them strong and get them through, and um, it's kind of like you're at your rope, I, I can't take any more of this, like when do I get a break, when is it my turn, well, now here comes this retrograde energy, and it's positive karma return, and those who have oppressed you, and you know, really just caused friction and challenge, it's coming back to them. And what I mean by that is who and what they are and, and what they've been putting out to the universe is coming back to them as much as who and what you are and what you've been putting out to the universe is coming back to you. And the energies that are coming through in this reading that Spirit's addressing, you guys have very positive energies returning. You're going to find out, you know, truths about things and others who have been deceptive, the truth of them is going to come to light even though it may have felt a long time coming or the truth may have been quite restricted, okay? So, um, let's pull some more dice just to see how this energy is going to move for you guys over, you know, this next six months. All right, so we have the King of Pentacles. That's positive sign. We have the Knight of Cups, another positive energy. We have the Four of Wands. Again, that's stability. We like it. We have the Chariot. Excellent. There's movement to this stuck energy. And look at this, the High Priestess. So, listen, fire signs, it's going to get better for you. Okay? It definitely is where you've had this really stuck energy in some area of your life where you just can't win for trying. Um, that's going to change over these next six months. And with the High Priestess, um, pay attention to your insights. You know, it's just sometimes what you're feeling and what you're thinking and the way you're perceiving is like worlds apart from other people. And so you might question yourself and think you're wrong or you don't know what you're talking about or how could that possibly be? trust yourself, okay? Because you have a spirit guide that's like, hey, 
hey, hey, what, around any sort of deception in your life where it's time to be freed of that, it, the oppression, it's time for that to go. Um, you've completed that cycle, you know, whether it was karmic for you or just part of your soul journey, this is a general reading, but you're, you've completed that. And now it's time for stability. It's time to move on from the oppression, okay? Um, also, with these energies, there could be some people that are really going to help you out um, in whatever sort of transition, transformation that you're trying to make or just naturally starts unfolding for you over the course of the next six months. Um, this could be Earth, so Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, and the High Priestess. I always attribute to water, so Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces. You also have the Chariot, so that could be uh, a Cancer, and then you have the Knight here of Cups, which is more water energy. So a lot of Earth and water energy around fire signs to help them grow help them you know escape the shackles to come into clarity come into deeper understanding and also with these two planets going retrograde you find motivation to make big time changes that you may have not felt mentally or emotionally strong enough to do in the past it's like over this next six months game on the shackles are broken free and um, you're motivated to do what you need to do to better your life to better your relationships to better your connections bring more stability bring more intimacy love and happiness into your world a uh, big time message of stability coming in um, Leo Aries Sag I keep wanting to just call out one sign. I'm sorry. Doing all three is um, newer to me, but I like how this reading's going, so. All right, that one wanted to come out. Feeling a bit triggered. All right. Okay, I guess that one had to come out, too. All right, so we have the five of activations. This is all about being triggered. And when you're being really triggered, things are really getting under your skin. And it's just like one thing after the next. It's you stop one fire just for another one to start somewhere else. That's spirit letting you know, hey, your energy is a bit scattered. And you're focusing on all the wrong things. Um you're focusing on worry and you're overthinking rather than just doing and and going with it um, because worry changes nothing it, it truly doesn't I mean and time is gonna pass no matter what you're doing whether you're worrying whether you're really trying to achieve something whether you're just sitting there doing nothing at all time is passing like it's not gonna stop so to me, honestly, time is one of our greatest gifts, and how you spend it is how you spend it. Every day is precious, and um, that's really coming through strongly in this. Is like, don't let the little stuff get to you anymore. It's not worth your time. It's not worth your energy. And also, back to like some relationships and connections in your life. Um, I just, they may bring the worst out in you, um, or they just like kind of drain you of energy. You just never feel good after dealing with that person, or you don't want to have to. I mean, it could be a coworker where it's like, oh God. Do I have to see or deal with this person today? Um, but spirits like don't don't let the little stuff get to you anymore. Um, the lion does not lose sleep over the opinion of sheep, right? Keep that in mind. Rise above because uh, there's great stability. There's lots of changes, and this I feel is kind of energy you're getting out of where your situation's uh, smoothing out a bit so you don't feel so triggered and um, just stimulated, like overstimulated and what's going to happen next. All right, uh, next card out is Six of Intuition. So this is attached to the past. This is coming out under this Knight of Cups. So uh, also with Soul Bond here, listen, there are definitely some connections and relationships uh, from your past that are not resolved for some of you. And again, some of this could be where you're finally going to see somebody get theirs, okay? And for others of you, 
through this retrograde, it's really pulling up stuff from deep down in your core that is not resolved around um, friendships, family, romance, just uh, relationships that were near and dear to your heart, but something went wrong. Um, it was left unfinished, left undone. We could have left angry. Somebody could have hurt us, could have betrayed us. We could have hurt or betrayed, you know, a certain person. And now we're feeling a lot of remorse about it. It, it could be years ago. It could be more recent. All right. But there's element of energy of the past where it's time to finally heal that. And what I mean by that, it's not like, oh, we're going to be back in contact with people or things like that. No, this is a healing that takes place internally within self. It's a personal choice where you say, spirit, I please help me heal this emptiness. Please help me heal these wounds, these connections, these relationships that are left undone, that have hurt me, that there is no clarity, there is no closure, and have no expectation of how it's going to play out. Just put it out there and have that your intention, that however that wound needs to heal, you're going to do it. And I promise you, spirit will come in and start showing you the way. And little by little, day by day, you'll start feeling better about the past and feel the willingness to move on and accept it for what it is. All right, next out, Six of Manifestations. This is a great card. This is coming out under this Four of Wands. So this is all about some stability coming in, some unexpected help, some new connections, some good friends, a really good support system. Um, if you, any of you are like shifting into a new job, a new career, I feel it's a much better fit. Um, some of you also through this next six months, it's like you're really establishing yourself in life, um, making like a purchase of a home or relocating to another state, another country, but it is very positive positive move even if we're afraid to let uh, the past or, or current uh, familiarity of life go no it's a it's a really good move if that's um, you know what's happening for you and this is a great great card coming out under the chariot the um, nine of manifestations and this here just confirms for me that you've been on a very, very long journey. And at points along that journey, it's been lonely. It's been lackful. You have struggled. You have worried. But through your travels, you've become so wise, so strong. Uh, you have some mental and emotional strength that you didn't possess a year ago, okay? Whether you are recognizing that about yourself or not, it's there. You've earned it. You've achieved it. And that's why there's this positive energy coming through for you. So don't, um, don't assume that things are going to stay the way they've been for quite some time because you're shifting out of that over this next six months. And everything is a process. I would love to say, oh, snap your fingers. And there it is. It's a process. And oftentimes with the process, you don't realize until you look back and you're like, oh, my goodness, look at how far I've come. Look at how much has changed. I didn't even notice. It's just such a subtle part of life, part of journey. All right. So. Uh, the last card that jumped out was this intuition healer. Now this comes out under this high priestess. So again, this is that water energy, Cancer Scorpio Pisces coming in, where um, this is talking about the healing that's taking place for fire signs, or there's a water person we're healing with, or a water person, water type personality really going to help you out over this next six months with all these energies that have um, come out, come through. Don't react. Don't retaliate. Just sit back. Watch what the universe does for you. And, you know, trust that what you put out is what you get back. It could happen really quickly or it could take a really long time for that to return. But either way, it's going to come back. I promise you that. So let's pull some more clarity on these uh, tarot cards.
Okay, so big changes, yeah, that's coming out under this uh, five of activation. So all the little things that have just been wrong, been triggering you, all of that, you're moving out of that energy over the next six months. And look at that, five, six, six um, in a row. So the May is the fifth month. So between now and November, there really is a lot of changes going on for you guys. Um, romance is coming out under this intuition the past and the romance so um and look at it's leo energy so maybe this is strongest for leos um there's some element to this uh pluto saturn retrograde for you where romance of the past whether this is just unfinished business this is somebody you still wish you could be with like it's just different for all of you it's some wound in you that exists somehow some way and this next six months spirits really pulling it up from deep down and putting it in your face it's time to heal this it's time to move on from it whether that means we're just letting it go entirely or we find ourselves reconciling that's irrelevant um, to this reading spirits like no it's time for healing it's time to move on the restriction the oppression the sadness the depression it's time to move on from that you've walked that journey and you are so much wiser and stronger for it. Next out, new moon magic, blessed moon energy. Yeah, you're on a new path, okay? Things are really changing and turning around for you guys over these next six months. You've got to trust in that um, evaluation coming out under this nine of manifestations. And just like I said, you're going to look back and realize how far you've come and how strong you are are and how much wisdom you've gained and knowledge and experience you're just a different person and roots i love this uh with the four of wands and roots it is time for stability this is coming out under that high priestess and um water energy the healer here so again this person's either really going to help you make sense of everything and help you heal and move on um this could be a new friend coming in this could be a spiritual mentor of some kind this could be a reikiist um if you've had some physical issues this might be a new doctor or a nurse coming into your world um, or this could be like a, a water sign energy where we are having some sort of reconciliation and healing because the roots are there regardless of what's happened the soul bond exists and you know all things in perfect divine timing so let's pull some outcome and advice you guys this is a, a really good reading um expect a lot of changes and some magic and you're going to realize how far you've come and how much is different. And it's just that this isn't like if you've been feeling really bad, really down. Um, this is where you finally come into feeling like a hero, a rock star. Like, go me. Look at what I've been through. Look at what I've overcome. Look at the way I understand and I perceive things now. It's just... Um, like a, a graduation, an elevation of energy. All right, so yeah, this is your outcome. Deep healing. We've got Chiron, and that's probably why this is here. Like, no matter what this healing means for each of you, um, it's very positive. The end result, you're happy, you're satisfied. And look at this. This is your advice, gift for you. Uh, Spirit wants you to know that you are not alone. Your prayers never go unheard. Um, and they don't even go unanswered, even if it appears that way. Everything has moving parts. Everything is part of the cosmic plan. And it's all in motion. And you signed up for different lessons. And you've just got to go along your life journey and trust as it unfolds that all is always well. The challenge, the oppression, the contrast is what grows and teaches, adds character, really makes you strong and wise. And you know, you can't be strong and wise uh, with minimal resources forever, right? And Spirit knows that. 
So you guys are coming into that reprieve where it's like you've been traveling through the desert and now you've come across this beautiful oasis and in this oasis you're completely replenished. You finally understand you're no longer held back and restricted in your mind, in your heart, in your life and there's a lot of healing going on and taking place and you are seeing others who have harmed you and hurt you get theirs and it, it's not like it fills you with joy. It's just you are seeing the give and take of the universe, the dance we all share, the um, you know collective consciousness that we are all a part of, and what you give is what you receive all day long, every day, and the more that you take the time to pay attention and connect the dots, the more and more you'll see it in the tiniest of details. It's almost frightening, actually. So, fire signs. Time for healing, time for mending, time for letting go of some stuff that you've really been dragging around for a long time, feeling liberated and freed and some good stability coming into your world. So those are your messages. I'm wishing you guys all the very best. Take care.